This this is Nitro Map. What is up, everyone? It's Penguin Tiber here, back with another video. And today is a glorious, glorious day because after quite a bit of time of waiting, Nitro Math is finally here. And even better, I can finally make content on this thing because I've been waiting for a couple weeks. So let's get straight right into this thing. If you'd asked me on August 18th, 2020, when I thought Nitro Math was coming out, I would have said 2025. In fact, in this video, I probably did say 2025. That's because a while ago, and I mean literal years ago, NitroType said that testing for Nitro Math would begin January 2020. Now, that didn't happen. Obviously. <laughs> and for a while, Nitro Math was kind of just a big joke in the community. It was kind of the classic funny, you know, haha, when's Nitro Math going to drop? Am I right, guys? It, nothing really ever came of it. Except for the small fact that it's the summer of 2022, and Math has been in testing stages for quite some time now. I don't know the exact timeline or, or history of events, but I know that for at least a couple of months, people have been testing the Nitro Math closed beta. And the difference between a closed and an open beta, or at least the way that I'm going to define them, is a closed beta is only some people can test it, right? Open beta is a little bit more than some people can test it. And so for a while, we were in this closed beta where there were only a handful of community members that could test Nitro Math. And to spoil everything, I was one of them. So first, I want to give a huge thanks to Travis and the rest of the Nitro Type team for allowing me and several others to test and provide feedback on the game before a lot of other people could. It gave me a lot of insight and also the chance to share my opinion, which is always something that I enjoyed doing, so that was awesome. But now Nitro Math has shifted from a closed beta, where it was only like a dozen random community members, to an open beta, which means any gold member can test and play Nitro Math right now. It's, it's out, kind of. And I'm going to explain what that kind of means in a second. But in this video, I just wanted to go over Nitro Math in general. For those of you who can't access it, for those of you who might not have insight about it, all of that stuff, I've kind of been checking this thing out for the past like month or so, having a good time playing the game. And I got a lot to say. I got a lot to share. And this thing's been in the process for, you know, a lot of years now. Like, like more than multiple years. Like, like it's been a while. And just as 2020... Wait. Just as 2020 me did not think that this thing would ever happen, I see the day in which it has. So, let's get right smack into this thing. Now, the first thing that you can kind of pick up on, and I'm going to move out of the way a little bit, is that Nitro Math Beta and Nitro Type? Oh, it, it logged me. Thanks, Nitro Type. Appreciate it. Nitro Math Beta, this thing, this thing right here, and Nitro Type look pretty similar. Look pretty similar. And there's a couple reasons for that. First off, the games are very similar. There's a lot of the same features, and besides the core gameplay itself. It's a lot of basically the same game, which isn't a bad thing, I, I don't think at all. Because the one big difference is, of course, the gameplay, and we'll get into that in just a second. And so if we go over to Nitro Math, you can see some immediate differences. First off, it says play now and play with friends instead of race and race with friends. Small thing, but it does clue you into the fact that this is a different game. Also, in the top right-hand corner of the screen, right up, right up there. Oh, wow, that was really easy. It usually takes me like 15 seconds to figure that one out. All right, right up here, it says give feedback. That is because you can, in fact, give feedback. And I think this should show up for you guys. It does. So if you guys are a gold member and you're able to log on to the game, you can give feedback. Feedback. I'm not actually going to type that, but yeah. So that's, that's, that's cool. That's awesome. You can also report bugs in this button. And, and as you can see, it'll take you to a report bug page that can, that can provide some feedback. And I think that kind of wants me to, t and that leads me to talk about one of the first points I had, which was that the reason that Nitro Math has been opened up to gold members is not just so people can play the game. It's also so that they can test it and provide feedback. 
and help people out, you know? It's like the entire point of opening this, this beta version of Nitro Math is so that the, the admins can get a feel for how the community thinks about the game, right? And so if you guys are going to log on to Nitro Math and are going to check this game out, definitely drop some feedback, definitely report bugs if you find them. That's the whole point. So be sure to, to help give your opinion. This is the chance we get to kind of have a little bit of influence on this game. Um, cause I know a lot of people always complain about, you know, Oh no, night shape sucks and we can't do anything about it. Well, this is Nitro Math, and you can do something about it by giving feedback. So that's pretty cool. And I'll give a quick rundown of some of the other pages um, and kind of what I want to see with them before we get into the actual racing, sorry, playing part of the game. Uh, news is the same. Doesn't really matter. Achievements um, has not come yet, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Um, so yeah, the achievements page isn't a thing yet because they need to, you know, design achievements. And it's a pretty. this is a pretty cool blueprint image. I like this a lot. The, the blueprint of the whatever. I don't even know what card this is. Point is... Coming soon, achievements, so some of the favorite features might not be available, blah, 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 it makes sense. So they're currently working on things like achievements, and maybe they're revamping teams a little bit. And I would love to see a lot of Nitro Math achievements. I want, I, want, I want that feeling of being able to earn a billion achievements again. I love that stuff. Um, and hopefully teams get a facelift as well. That would be pretty awesome. I don't know. I can't really, I can't really like, say that Nitro Math is going to do, or Nitro Nitro type? Do I call them Nitro type or do I call them Nitro? That the Nitro company, well, that sounds weird. The Nitro company is going to do like a massive team upgrade or anything. I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but it would be cool to see how they revamp teams based on Nitro math instead of Nitro type. Um, same thing with classes, although I don't think classes really have much use in the community anymore besides, um, you know, actual classes in real life. Um, and then friends is actually kind of cool. As you can see, um, who, who's done a bunch of races for, or sorry, who's played a bunch of games on Nitro Math. And so, if you go to Friends, you can see online fan, Friends, and if you sort by the games played, you can see that whoever this is has almost 500 games played. Nate Dog 95, etc., etc. And these are just the online ones. You could go to All Friends, but that would break my computer because I have 2,500. Don't ask how. The limit is, in fact, 1,000. Uh, the shop is pretty much the same as well. It's, sorry, it's exactly the same as well. Um, but I would like to see a little bit new on the shop. I don't know. I I don't know how they could revamp the shop, but maybe there's different cosmetics they can introduce in Nitro Math. Maybe there's different whatever. I I don't know. I haven't started really coming up with ideas yet or anything. I haven't done any of my brainstorming yet. I'm just kind of looking at what's new, what's here, what's changed, all that stuff. So, so far, all of that stuff's kind of still the same or waiting for the update. Same thing with the season and and that does bring me to the previous point which is that the real big difference about Nitro Math is the gameplay they're not trying to completely design like some brand new website Nitro Math is supposed to be very similar to Nitro Type it's why a lot of the stuff is the same and so the one big difference is going to be the gameplay and we're going to check that out in just a second but for now stats as well stats a little bit different because you can see they talk about the different categories which is pretty cool I can't argue with this Best score, accuracy, average score, total plays, all that stuff. And then last play, I can't argue. That's awesome. But screw it. Let's get into the games because this is what you guys are all here for, obviously. So as you can see, there's currently nine different types of games. They're all pretty basic um, types of math that people probably learned in elementary school, I would have guessed. I, I assume so. Yeah. Um, and so you can see there are different types of addition and subtraction and multiplication and division, fractions, the basic math skills, right? It's not like they're doing algebra, poo, trig, pre-calc, none of that stuff. And those are just the classes I've been taking recently. It was like, no, they're not doing that. They're just doing the basic basics, right? And that kind of brings me to the idea of what Nitro Math is. It's not supposed to be like a place that you can really learn new concepts. It's supposed to be a place where you can um, practice concepts that you are currently learning. For instance, if I'm like five years old or whatever, and I just learned addition, I can go on to Nitro Math and practice addition. I can I can drive my car around and hit the different. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I can I can practice Nitro Math on addition, and it'll help me get better at addition, right? And so it's not like. Nitro Math is going to teach, right? That's not that's not really the point. It's like a practice site, and a good one at that. I don't think I've ever seen a, a math skills practice site, which is, like, way more fun than this. I, I, I've, I've played a few back in the day, cool math games, as you know. Um, and so this is what it looks like. 
This this is Nitro Map. Oh, I I okay. We're I'm not gonna win this game by any means. I'm just gonna drive around, kind of show you what's up. So this is the game. Ah, uh, for those of you who who have never seen this before, this is the game. And so you can see we have a question in the bottom of the screen, right? Four plus five. And you can see as we drive around, we're collecting these little boost pads. And if we press space, I boost. And it also turns, if I press space and boost, it also turns all of the surrounding answers into the right answer, which is nine. And so then the second I get the right answer, you can see all the answers switch and a new question pops up. Then I get eight then three. And now I got to find a six. And this was one of the first issues that me and the other testers kind of ran into was that sometimes it's a lot of RNG based, right? Because if you if you have a question and the answer you're looking for isn't nearby, then you're kind of screwed and you, you lose a lot of time on that because moving around the map, it's not that fast. As you can see, that's a good game right there. I came in second place. The ending screen is pretty cool, although it's going to be very laggy. Um, and that's that. Obviously, I wasn't going super ham or anything, but you can see this is Nitro map. That's the game. Um, and, and we got a little bit more to it as well. I can I can tell what I I can say what I thought about the Nitro Math match. I liked it. That was fun. Practice my addition. Um, and there's a couple other things we can check out as well. Basically, when when you finish a race, um, it gives you, you know, cash for, for what place you came in. You get a bonus for being on the test site, so that's kind of cool. Accuracy bonus, session, playing with friends, gold member, whatever. Uh, one thing I would like to note is that you get a lot of cash for doing this. Like, oh my god, like 4k. I don't really think anyone cares about that, but I know that if it was like 2015 and I was saving up for like the Christmas car or something, I would have cared about that. I don't know, whatever. I think new players will like that, being able to earn a lot of cash from this. Um, and so as you can see, we got kind of the, the thing that's going on here. If you hover over someone, it'll show you how many games they've played, which is pretty cool, um, but not much else really. And so that's that's only my 13th game too. So if I, you know, hit play again, I can play the same mode again. And I am going to do it again just to show you guys kind of what's up if I'm like actually trying, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess so. So let's let's do some let's do some gosh darn addition. Um, one thing that I would also like to note is that it is a little bit slow. It's actually slower than Night Stripe, I'm pretty sure. And we've brought this up numerous times to, to all sorts of support and so they're very aware of the fact that it's a little bit slower than Nitro type. Um, but I think the, the intro screen is also pretty cool. And if we scroll down, there's also controls. Use boost, use Nitro, stickers, solve the problem, all that stuff, which is pretty awesome. Oh, God, there's a lot of people in here. Uh, one plus one, two. Where's the two? As you guys can see, I'm currently getting screwed because I can't find a two. There it is. See, I just lost, you know, 10 seconds because I was trying to find a two, right? And so it's like, that can be annoying if people are really trying to get, like, competitive out of it and all of that stuff. Um, 10, where's the 10? And if you hit the wrong answer, um, it, it'll slow you down for a second and, and obviously you won't get points. And so you want to make sure you're hitting the right answer, getting good accuracy. It's kind of like Night Strike. You want to hit the right keys. That way you're getting better. At typing, same thing here. You want to hit the right answer. You want to get the question right. Obviously, I'm getting the questions right because, you know, I know addition, hopefully. Um, but if someone's learning addition, then they might get some questions wrong. And so it's a real encouragement to try and get the questions right, obviously. Moves towards this. Six. I think I'm winning, but I'm not sure. I, I can't really check. Get this one. Six. Oh, okay. Okay, so I came in first. That's awesome. Woohoo. Nice. And yeah, so that's that's just normal addition, right? And as you guys can see, I got A plus accuracy. A plus is for I think all of them right or some percentage of them right or whatever. And the accuracy goes down pretty far. My boy reverse got four points in F accuracy. So I don't even know. It's not it's not the most competitive game so far. I'll say that. Um, so that's just a normal addition game of Nitro Math. And this is this video in itself is going to be the briefest overview possible, and even though the the length of the video probably doesn't suggest that, this is this is a very simple overview. I'm just showing you guys what we got. A couple other things to keep in mind as I draw this video to a close: the Nitro Type account and Nitro Math account are obviously one and the same, um, uh, for for very obvious reasons. Yeah, that's cool. You can also earn XP 
which goes towards your season progress on Nitro Math. So if you guys are racing on Nitro Math, even on the closed beta, that will go towards the progress for your season, which is sweet. I love that so much. I haven't really like stopped to check whether or not you get more XP on Nitro Dive than on Nitro Math, but one thing to keep in mind is that Nitro Math games are like a minute long with a decent loading time at the start. So, if you're thinking about XP, obviously Nitro Type's probably the better way to go, unless I did my math wrong somewhere along the way, but I don't think so. A minute is usually longer than like 25 seconds. I think, I think that's how it works. Anyways, all gold members check this thing out. If there's something you want me to try and do on Nitro Math for a video, anything at all, please let me know. And also, ideas that you guys have for Nitro Math. Let me the heck no. There's a Play With Friends version, which I'm going to be checking out in an upcoming video, slash live stream, slash event, slash I don't even know that's going to happen. Um, looking forward to that, honestly. Um, so yeah, I, I just want to keep this video as simple as possible. I didn't want to overload. I didn't want to do a billion games. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what's up. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. This is the first look at Nitro Math. I'm super excited for it. I, I can't wait to be able to play this game with friends, play it on stream. I've been testing this thing out for so long, and it's awesome to finally be able to make some content on it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know literally any thoughts you all have in the comments section. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you all in the next, most likely Nitromath related video. Anyways, as always, have a wonderful day. Peace.